Hey y'all, it's Zooks, and this is Let's Play Satisfactory, where everything is made up and the coupons don't matter. That's right, the coupons are like your food on your plate when you have kids. That's their food, that's not your food. You will be forced to sneak bites of food later when they're not there. Welcome back everyone to the Fix It Apprenticeship Program. Last episode, we had gotten some basic steel set up the most basic of basic steel has been set up down here in the lake basin i think technically t technically this area is called the western dune forest i believe but i'll just run you through there real quick and show you a bit of what we did last episode we mostly were just trying to get some steel done oh cool and I did a ton of AFKing, folks, just to make you aware. So there's definitely going to be some stockpiling of resources going on here. Hopefully, yeah, we got a full container. Hello. But yes, we pulled over that there was an iron node. We still had one. What was it? Coal. We had a coal node we didn't use. In fact, we made a second row of coal um, generators for additional power i think we're sitting at yeah 1200 all is good um and i'm i'm the next step in this is to finally get back to work on the starter base but before we do that there are some alternative recipes i need to chase down on top of the alternative recipes i will be chasing down I need to get through some of the tiers. So let's do the, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna, there's going to be a pattern in this episode. The pattern is going to be, come here, get a, get a hard drive, drop it in our man, let it cook. Next, we're gonna go find our first hard drive, then, we come here and we complete a tier, show it off, and then keep moving. All right, so let's do the first tier. The first, uh, the first one is actually right below us because we couldn't get that if you remember right. Uh, by the way, I unlocked the map. I had gotten through a lot of the, the quartz tree, but we need four steel beams and some power. And that should be no biggie at all. Hey, how do I not have any iron rods? That seems a bit crazy don't it here's some there we go i actually should probably clear some of this stuff off i had done a bit done a bit of wandering around last episode because i set up some temporary stuff at a quartz node at a actually i should just go get more iron rods but if you didn't see last episode i hurried up and did three things at the end of that episode it was one thing that I did was add sinks to a lot of our products here because for the starter base, we're going to need a lot of cool cosmetic options and I need coupons for that. And in order to get to get coupons, you you have to sink a ton of items. So we've absolutely been doing that. In fact, like I said, we have been AFKing a little bit to let a couple things like accumulate so I could afford some of the things. There's one sink right there. That one's getting screws and iron plates. There's my rods are over here though. Let's go grab a few rods. Tons of AFKing has been happening. Sweet, plenty of rods. I mean, I, I should be really full on just about everything. In fact, I'm probably sinking the majority of what we're getting at this point. Yep, sinking. Everything's sinking. We're probably full up on everything. So let's keep moving. Um, I wanted to... I think that is all I wanted to do up here. I'll, I'll probably grab a couple more iron plates. Just to make sure I'm not low on those. I feel like you always need those low tier stuff in your in your inventory just in general just for stuff 
Do I have wire? I do have wire. Do I have quick wire? Sure. I have a rebar gun I'm gonna try to use. I, I made that in the last episode. I don't know if I showed y'all, but I made a rebar gun and we'll see how it goes. I've, I've never... I used the rebar gun once. I was disappointed in it immediately and has not have not returned to it since. So I am going to play around with it a little bit this episode. We'll see. Oh, and I might as well show y'all. This is sort of what the 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 bones of our starter base platforms are going to be. They're going to be these steel. This is why we needed steel beams because each one of these is five of them. And then on top, there's going to be a, a glass foundation. And uh, it's it also requires steel beams. And we'll be belting stuff underneath and pulling it up to our product lines above. But that's for the next episode, not this episode. This episode, we are... What, what were we doing? We were going to get our first hard drive of the day. I think the plan is to, I mean, we're going to have, the plan is to get an, as enough hard drives to meet the, because I have three alternative recipes that I know I want for our starter base. So to set up this, this pod requires 40 beams, I'm sorry, four beams and 20 megawatts of power. So all you need to do is connect it up with the cable like you would a building. So let's jump down there and oh, I'll probably land in the water because it's safer. All right. And then I have the beams. So because I have met all the requirements, it will let me open it. I'm going to pick up my beacon because I no longer need it. We don't need this cable here anymore. And then I'm going to do my little X marks the spot thing because I, I do this because I have very routinely go back to these pods thinking that I haven't gutted them yet just to open it up and see that I totally did gut it and it annoys me to do that so this is me keeping myself from doing that all right that was our first hard drive of the day let's go up here so this is going to be the pattern we're gonna hopefully unlock a hard drive in the MAM go hunt down a, a hard drive, and then go and unlock a tier in our the tiers that we need to complete. And I'll probably be jumping around here and there, cutting to and fro. Let's see. Vehicular transport. No. I wanted this one. This one? Oh, I should, you know, I should have been ready. I need to go get these parts. I'll probably just cut this out. I'll be back. All right, we're back. Grabbed all those items. I grabbed uh, way too many, so hopefully I don't have to run and do that too much more. Let's see. Rotors. Reinforced plates. Hello. Melee combat. Milestone reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Xeno Basher, perfect. We're, this is all we're gonna do right now. Let's get me a Xeno Basher. Actually, I'm gonna pick this up because we all, all know what that is. Oh, of course I need more wire. I. I specifically didn't get more wire. I'll be back! <sighs> wow. What a hassle. I died. It was just great. Just great. Let's see. I need two of these. One. Actually, you know what? I just need one. Oh, no, no, no. I just need one of these because I ain't using this one anymore after I make this. So. And we're going to enjoy this animation because I love it. Oh, yeah. This thing. 
This thing wrecks! Ah, no more level one spitters embarrassing me in front of my doggos. Speaking of doggos, I totally just died and he does not believe in me anymore. Okay, where are we at? I did a pod. And I improved, I did this, so let's check our hard drive. Fantastic, okay. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, we get three choices here. One of these is absolutely one of the items I was, uh, the recipes I was looking for. We have Caterium wire. It turns one Caterium ingot into eight wire. This is um, not too useful, and I, I will be using it later, but it's not super handy, and you generally don't want to use Caterium for wire. This is a bolted iron plate. It produces iron plates faster. It basically just ups these quantities of items. I think technically from a resource standpoint, it's more inefficient than the other, the original recipe, but from a power standpoint, it's way better because you're producing 15 plates a minute out of one machine, which would normally take three machines to do. Then we have fused wire, another situation it's probably got a niche purpose, but generally you don't want to be spending Caterium on wire because Caterium's really, really, um, it's in a, it's, it's not that, it's a little bit more of a rare resource. So we're going to pick up bolted iron plate. We're going to put our next hard drive in to start working. Fantastic. That's one of our recipes down. Let's go find another pod. And I know where one is because I... While I was setting up my Caterium, I had spied this one. Let's split this. By the way, if you don't know how to split, just right click. Right clicking once, just tapping it will, I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought, will split it in half. And if you hold the right mouse button, it will, it will give you a choice of how many you want to split. All right. You gonna come meet this bud? I need back up. Yep. Come on, man. I know you like me. We've been buds before. Yeah, and you brought me some limestone. I love it so much. I will never get rid of it. I promise. You are the best little dog in the entire world. By the way, again, I've been AFKing a lot. I got 35 tickets here ready to use on top of eight here. And that's specifically because we gotta use them. We gotta use them or we lose them. Not really, I don't think we lose them. All right, let's get to the next drop pod. It's over by the Caterium, I believe. So I'll be right back. Oh, watch this. Easy, easy. Bring more, I want more. Oh, easy. This sword I, is the love of my life. No more problems with monsters. That is all. I just want to show you that. All right. We are over here at our Caterium setup. And I had spotted this little drop pod over here on the while I was working on it. I didn't do anything with it because I was, you know, doing other stuff. So we are going to zoop us a little bit of a platform up here. Now watch this. Who's up here? It don't matter. It don't matter who's up here. Wow, do you really not have anybody protecting you? Wow, I thought, uh, uh, no way, no way I almost fell off that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, gosh, that was way too close. Holy cow, I thought I was a goner. All right, let's pick up. First thing we want to do is pick up all this, all the swag from this, from the floor. Let's see. Really, this was not super great stuff. We just got screws and wire. And it's like, I do not need this many screws in my life. Let's check this out. Hey, modular frames, we got one already. Pod number two down. All right, little X marks the spot. And I, I think that there is a purple slug down there. Let's go investigate. Ah! Why 
wonder how it, I haven't I've never swam off one of these waterfalls. I wonder how that would work. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of zooping. So let's now get up here. Perfect, we're getting a purple slug. These bad boys, I believe, are worth five power shards. Oh, I thought I'd cheese him and he got me. Dang it. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be a cheese. Dang it. Yeah, this guy was, uh, was not... Let's see, I want to try to box him in. Can I box you in? What is hit? What is hitting me? Oh no! Now is a very bad time. Ah! Stupid spider! Oh, you knew you could get me while I was at my full strength, you cheap skate. <sighs> it's too dark. Oh my gosh. Dang it! Don't go up high. Don't want to take any extra damage. Okay, okay. I'm scared. I am scared. Box me in. Ah, hallelujah! All right, let's let's start let's start doing this a little bit better. Um, got a rebar gun. Might as well use it, right? Where you at, Spider? Because you're getting some vengeance. You're getting. I'm getting a little bit of revenge on you too. All right. All right. Time to try and face down the bad guy. I say bad guy. Technically, I'm the bad guy. Hey, bud. Oh, you know that I kind of enjoyed that. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed that. I I was looking down on this thing for a while. That kind of that kind of felt okay. All right, let's get back to base. All right, we're back. I'm gonna set up. I saw this really cool thing. I saw somebody on YouTube do where he put these these things right, something like this, and he had his. Yeah, like this, but how did it, how did he do that? I can't remember. It looked great. I'm gonna have to check it out. Um, I'm gonna start putting my stuff in a little bit more organized places. Because, seriously, my inventory is looking like a mess. Yeah, all that's fine. Why not? Just put that stuff in there. Who cares? Sweet. So let's see if we did our, we did. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. We got another pure ingot recipe. These are obviously really good. Um, it's basically you're trading pa uh, power for production. You increase the amount of power that you're that you're consuming to to output more more parts um, at a more efficient rate which is great uh, but I don't think I'm gonna use this in a while steel rod I've heard is really good but I 
I have yet to find a good place to use it. Um, so I'm probably not picking that. This one definitely gets used. And I might... I'm probably selecting this one. Of all of them, I think this is... Compact coal is really important, and you can use it in some black powder recipes later. It also can you can also burn compacted coal for fuel. You can uh, I think compacted coal is used in making turbo fuel. There's a lot of stuff you can use compacted coal for. So we're gonna go for that. Let's start our next hard drive, and then let's take a look. We did it. We did. Let me double check. Yeah, we did a part. We did a pod. We did our research, now we're gonna do the next thing. And I wanted it to be, well, we're gonna do that one, I promise. But I wanna get through a couple of these. Ah, oh, more wires, of course. Let's do this one. I'll be right back when I get these wires. All right, we're back with our wires. Let's get this put into our thing here. These steel pipes, that's one of the reasons we wanted to automate it so fast. Oh, wow, I probably should have been more prepared with rotors. All right. So this is, I'm gonna call this a part. Can be improved oh wait. A larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. So this, this was a huge milestone for us and for, for this, this phase for these tiers. For one, there's four, five parts here that got added. And, uh, hold on a second. I think they messed that up. They me messed up that message. Ada, hey, what the heck? Ada, you, you read the wrong notes, okay? You said that we could do power storage. You don't get that until you get logistics mark three. You said uh, you said the wrong one. This is what we got. So this is what I, I, I like to call these ones like part part milestones. We now get to make encased industrial beams, stators, motors, auto wiring, and heavy modular frames. All of these are really uh, obvious. It's like there's not much to showcase here, except that we get a minor mark two, and that's just an improved miner. Double the resources. It's really good. But for example, I guess I'll just make a couple of these parts. Why not? Let's see. Like there's encased industrial beams. These got to get made in an assembler. They take steel beams and they take concrete. Let's see. What was the other one? Heavy modular frames. These are, these take four parts, so you actually can't even make these in assemblers. You have to wait till you get a more sophisticated manufacturing device. So that that's not really much we can do there. What was the other one? We had it, it was a motor. This is, it can be done in an assembler and it takes a rotor and a stator. And a stator is one of these things. It's, uh, it's, it can be a built in an assembler. It takes wire, a lot of wire, and uh, steel pipes. So as you can see, they're all steel parts. Not much else to talk about there. Let's see, we're gonna go for another pod. Now close to that quick wire, there was another pod that I saw in the horizon. It was somewhere, let's see, our quick wire stuff is here, right here. And I had seen this, and then somewhere like on a cliff, or like the edge of a cliff, in this area I saw one. So I think we're just gonna head south, or southeast, and see if we can't find what that pod is. So I'll be back with you in a sec. I found it! Man, these, these like level one, okay, okay guy. I was about to brag and just say these level one indigenous life forms are no match for my upgraded Xeno Basher. I guess that's what we should call them is Xeno Xenomorphs. Is that what is that the right term for some sort of alien life form? I believe is what that means. Let's get up here. Make sure there's nothing trying to hurt me. Who's guarding this? I I challenge you to a duel. 
All right, cool. Ah, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. These have encased industrial beams just laying around here. Hello. Free encased industrial beams. I'll take it. I thought I thought I saw a spitter shoot at me, but it was just, I think, sparks from this. Let's see. Sometimes you, you got to clear out some biomass. Some of the, I say biomass, the leaves. Ooh, circuit boards. Those are going to go straight into the sink. Um, yeah, and industrial beams. I'll take them. Wire. Don't want to take it, but I'm taking it. I feel like I can never leave. Even if it's like the most worthless item, like screws, I feel like I cannot leave them just sitting around here. All right, what is this? Quick wire? No problem. All right, that was an easy pause. See, our base is only like right over there. You can kind of, you can even see our concrete set up from here. Yeah, and then over here is the, where is it? Right there, boom. There's our other, the other pod we just handled and then the, the miner for our Caterium nodes. Oops, wrong place. Oh, quick save, all right. X marks the spot. All right, we're gonna go back to the base and check out our hard drive. I'll be back with you in a sec. Hey buddy, welcome back. Oh, thank you for the gift. Ah, oh, so I found another another buddy. We're, we're obviously going to join these so they can hang out because they're just so cute. Oh yeah, but I found another one. And hopefully I won't die because that I don't like having to tame them all over again. So we got those parts, right? Uh, the circuit boards, I don't want those. Let's put them in here, see what happens. I, I want to see how many tickets I get. It should like skyrocket a bit. Nah. Yeah, so one of the things about tickets is they, as you, the more tickets you get, the harder it gets to get tickets. It, it's like an exponential type of expense. And they, they definitely get way more expensive. Let's see, what was I in the middle of doing? I got my hard drive. Let's, I, I, I was going to organize these a little bit more. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, what was it? These, yes, you two. Come here, to here, and, oh, hey dogs. They are, they are so excited to see me. I am excited to see y'all. All right, there's some wood here, whatever. Slugs, we got a bunch of slugs going on. Fantastic, fan. Fantastic. Let me put the Zener Basher, Zener, Zener Basher in my hand. Let's check out what we got. Yes! So, first one we got one of the recipes we were after. Second one we didn't, which is kind of a bummer. Third one we did. We want, I lie. This copper rotor is really good. I really like the copper rotor. In fact, I'm gonna select it here because it's the best one here, but it's not gonna be used. I, I was thinking about something else. We will have a much higher level end game iron factory and I want to use copper rotors in it, but you can make 11.25 copper rotors a minute, which is huge. But this is similar to the other bio coal recipe where you can put leaves and make coal. It doesn't make sense because why would I take a finite resource and turn it into an infinite resource? An infinite, I have a resource I have infinite supply of. You know, that doesn't make sense. I hate this recipe. This one, Nobilisk, all, before this recipe, they, they cost black powder and they cost steel pipes. That's the standard recipe right there. Why would I want to add a very complicated crystal oscillator to this recipe for not that much more for double? But it's not. This doesn't make sense to me. Copper rotor, you're you're the one. Dang it! So that's two. That's three recipes we've selected, and only one of them was one we were trying to find. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more lucky. Let's take a look at the next tier. I don't think I have any particular order now. So let's check out vehicle stuff i'm gonna go run and grab a rotor real quick or 100 rotors and i'll be right back all right folks we're back with our rotors let's check out this is really a cool milestone 
and I'm very happy I get to share this with you. Oh no, did I not have enough rods? <sighs> I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with the stinking rods. I cannot wait till I get some hyper tubes. Oh boy. Milestone reached. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. Vehicle stations have built in functionality to refuel and restock or collect parts. Da -da -da -da. All right, I'll. I'm going to show you an extremely simplified version of this and what these do. But I just know this, th this is just super small scale because they can, I'll show you, I'll just show you. All right, our tractor's coming back now. And I, I mean, after he makes this delivery and displays what this, the functionality of this is, I'm going to leave him. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey, where are my leaves at? Did I not push the right button over here? Were you not powered? What's happening? All routes operational, 35. Unload, unload. Vehicle settings, load. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, I'm dumb. Don't listen to me. That was all worth worth it, wor worthless. And this has to be unload. Unbelievable. All right, you get the point though. And I see, uh, you know, the biggest complaint about this, and I say it's not really a complaint. It's just differing ways you can do stuff. This is basically just a means of transportating transportating goods over long distances. And you can do it this way, or you can just have these huge conveyor lines. Where, oh wait, probably, there they are. You can either do trucks, or you can do, a lot of people are just like, why wouldn't you just conveyor all your stuff out to the places? in these long conveyor lines because you would have a more reliable source of, of parts, right? And I totally get that. In fact, I felt the same way. But part of the reason that you use trucks and other forms of transportation like this is to limit the amount of resources the, that it takes to build the things. To make a, a high level conveyor belt all the way across like a large expanse of territory is expensive. And it, you're, it's way easier to just set up two truck stations and drop a truck down and just have it running. And you're really only having to provide it fuel. It's, a, it's pretty good. And on top of that, I think it's way more fun to have, it just creates this like life and animation to your to your world that I really love to have seeing I love just seeing my trucks and trains just like going by like knowing that they're off doing deliveries and working super hard I love it we will be using trucks I try not to use uh, the term for moving uh, lots of parts via conveyor is called conveyor busing and I I will be trying to avoid that. I used to always do conveyor buses and I'm gonna to try to avoid those as much as possible in this in this playthrough. All right, we're gonna go over here and get another hard drive because while I was over here setting up some sulfur, oh my gosh, pale berries for days. While I was setting up my temporary sulfur, the um, I found a a uh, hard drive or a drop pod. Now, I can't remember, but I kind of want to say that it was surrounded by gas. So we're going to have to contend with that. Oh, I'm, I'm, there's a guy. Where are you, guy? There you are. Dude, two hits on those guys. So nice. All right. Here's my sulfur. 
Let's take a look, see around. Yeah, see, this is where I saw the, aha, see? Okay, so here's one thing, we get a zoop. Zoop. And then we'll come down here, all right. Now let's see if I can, now there's some parts down there. I might like sprint through there. Let's see first if I have anything to contend with up here. Where are you, big bad guys? Where are you at? Great screws. I love screws. Thank you for giving me screws while I'm out here. Alright, let's see. I don't see anything else. But I feel like there's got to be more, right? Right? Maybe a lot of time, I say a lot of times, check the edges when you see these drop pods. Because, because theoretically parts could have, oh, I see some spitters. Hey guys, guess what I got? Guess what I got? You're not the only person with range combat now, are you? Are you? Keep shooting at me. I wonder if they can survive the gas. Oh, come on, man. Oop. That's one down. What's that moonwalk you got going on there, bud? Easy. That's what range combat feels like. All right, we're going to run in here and see if there's any cool parts. Uh, uh. <coughs> Get out of here. All right. We're going to go right back up there and check the hard drive because I did not grab that. I also didn't see a ton of parts laying on the ground. You know what you can do sometimes that I've done is take a chainsaw and just chop everything down over here. All right, let's put our scanner back here. All right, what do you need? Hey, modular frames, we did that one. Ooh, jump. All right, let's do our X. X marks the spot. All right, I guess I'll see you back at the base. <laughs> 